could not recover, trying to avoid the foul. No help underneath. Caboclo going deep. Wow. That's going to be two. Just had a toe on the line. Again, just defending their man. Usher, good job, forced a turnover out front. Robinson runs it down. Looking to fill the lane, and the Jazz do it brilliantly with Caboclo. Seven points, and he was uh, active on both ends of the floor. Hey, you know, they say we don't talk about Bruno, but we're going to talk about this Bruno. Caboclo raised my eyebrows early on in this game, especially in the second quarter. Just from things like this, just pulling up at ease from the three. You're a big man with those kind of assets, long arms that can block shots, run the floor. There might be a spot for you, Bo. Yeah, good. <laughs> Thank you. Eight years uh, NBA experience. Good look from the corner. Misfired off the hand. Beautiful. Mm. Best play of the night at 45. Philly led by nine. Utah's lead. The largest of eight. Caboclo dropped it, picks it up, stays with it in the paint, fires up a shot and a foul. Well, you're talking about high percentage shots right there, Robinson. Set. Caboclo at the line. And more from Holly Rowe. Guys, he's listed at 6'9", but the thing that makes him a really unique athlete for Bruno Caboclo is his wingspan. He is 7'7", seven, seven wingspan. I actually just verified that with him during halftime. You saw him with the high hands, catch at the rim. We've seen him contest a few shots. But I really love, too, how hard he's running the floor. Nice size, but bam, the wingspan makes a kind of intriguing prospect. Caboclo wants that ball. He's got it on the low block. 12 on the shot clock. They double him. Inside he goes. Holmes. Oh, what a shot. The soft touch. The floater like a pillow. Oh, I love the shot. 13 turnovers for Philly. 20 for Utah. Out front, Robinson uses that screen of Caboclo. Knocks it home. Execution is going to be vital for both. Another jazz on a 15-4 run. Wow, How about block. that block shot? 